So last class I have solved two problems, one case of a single pile with a uniform soil deposit in cohesionless soil. So find it out the bearing capacity of the pile. So calculated for, for both base resistance as well as side frictional resistance and from there ultimate bearing capacity got it 2424 kilo Newton, allowable load is your 969 kilonewton. Considering your water table is far away, then second case we have considered as if water table is at ground surface. Then second example I have solved for layer soils, pile is there, diameter is given, each layer properties has been given. Only property is missing in this case gamma saturated also G. Gamma D is given, dry density is given, E is given. From there, we calculate G. Once you get the G, we can calculate gamma saturated. And delta has been arrived taking into consideration of 2 third phi to 3 fourth phi. And this is for layer case, the formula has been used. Perimeter and summation of Q0 bar, Ks bar, tan delta, delta L. So Q01 is every layer what is the average value for layer 1, layer 2, layer 3 and area at the base, perimeter, case, all parameter has been calculated and the steps for layer 1, what is the value of gamma sum most, layer 2, what is the value of gamma sum most, layer 3, what is the value of gamma sum most, then from there I got it QU and QA. Now next move to ultimate load on piles driven into cohesive soils. Cohesive soils, what is the formula? QU is equal to QB AB plus FS AS. Whether it is a cohesive or cohesionless, this formula is your base resistance into area of base, frictional resistance into surface area. Then, then it would be CB NC and A B. At the base what is the N C, at the base what is the C and A B plus alpha C U prime A S. For layer soil, for layer soil, for layer soil Q U is equal to C B N C A B plus P summation of 0 to L alpha C u prime delta L. So, C b is equal to C b is equal to undent shear strength of clay at base level of pile undent shear strength of clay at base level of pile then C u bar which is equal to average shear strength of clay average shear strength of clay under undrained condition, under undrained condition along the length of the pile along the length of the pile, then alpha is your ad average addition factor, alpha is equal to average addition factor then P is your perimeter P is equal to perimeter of pile 
delta L is equal to thickness thickness of layer and Nc is equal to your bearing capacity factor generally it is taken as 9. What are the different value of the adhesion factor has been recommended? What are the different value of your adhesion factor? If you look at the adhesion factors, material first part is your material, then second is your consistency, third is your cohesive strength that means C cohesive strength, then is your alpha. Material is your timber and concrete. And second is your steel, consistency is your soft, medium and stiff, soft, medium and stiff. Then steel is your soft, medium and stiff and cohesive strength if it is kilo Newton per meter square. So, for soft 0 to 37.5, medium 37.5 to 75.0, stiff 75.0 to 150.0, then soft medium and stiff it will be continue same here, same here it will continue. Then alpha value is varying it is between 1 to 0 0.9, then 0 0.9 to 0 0.6, then 0 0.6 to 0 0.45, then here it will be 1.0 to 0 0.80, then 1.0 to 0 0.5, then less than it is your 0 0.5. So, for cohesive soil without layer conditions. So, this will be base resistance into area of the base, frictional resistance into area of side frictional or surface area. Then for layered soil it is a perimeter summation of alpha average adhesion factor, Cu bar average shear strength of clay under undrained conditions, delta is your delta L is your thickness. Now, we will solve one example. Look at here, there is a water table at the ground surface and this is my ground surface. There is a load Q and this is your delta L1 is equal to 8 meter, delta L2 is equal to 6 meter, delta L3 is equal to 2 meter. So, then this is your 45 centimeter, then this is a soft clay Cu is equal to 30 kilo Newton per meter square, alpha is equal to 0 0.90, then this is a medium stiff clay. Cu bar is equal to your, these are all Cu bar average shear strength which is equal to 58 kilo Newton per meter square, alpha is equal to 0 0.75, it is a stiff clay where Cu bar is equal to 105 kilo Newton per meter square alpha is equal to 0 0.50. So, you can take it factor of safety is equal to 
2.5 now let us find it out so q u is equal to c b a b n c plus perimeter summation of 0 to l total length this is your l alpha c u bar into delta l now perimeter p is equal to 1.429 meter a b is equal to 0.159 meter square so now considering this if i calculate q u it will be 9 into 105 into 0 0.159 plus 1.429 into if I consider alpha C u bar delta L alpha is your first layer 0 0.9 into 30 into delta L is equal to 8 meter plus 0 0.75 into 50 into 6 plus 0 0.50 into 105 into 2. So, which is equal to 930.48 kilo Newton, then Q A allowable load is equal to Q U by your factor of safety, which comes out to be 372 kilo Newton. So, this is one example, this is one example where I put it instead of giving a homogeneous layer this is a layer soil water table is at the ground surface so for length delta l is equal to 8 meter it is a soft clay delta l is equal to 6 meter it is medium stiff clay delta l is equal to 2 meter it is stiff clay diameter of the pile has been given 45 centimeter factor of safety is your 2.5 all value cu average alpha all the values has been given so then perimeter and area of the base has been calculated based on that q u is equal to 930.48 kN q a is equal to 372 kN this is what the example then i have finished this first part let me give, go back if you look at here first part right now i have finished using static bearing capacity equations these are the static bearing capacity equations particularly and um, then this this based on that particularly for cohesionless soil and cohesive soil we have done it then by dynamic methods or dynamic formula second part field load test then values of SPT CPT will be lateral so it will be pile bearing capacity from dynamic pile driving formula from dynamic pile driving formula. So, if I put it a energy relationship, if I put it first one is your energy relationship, A first one is your energy relationship, that means pile driving hammering of the pile then what will happen w h is equal to q u into s so q u is equal to w h by s so w is equal to weight of the driving hammer weight of the driving hammer and h is equal to height of fall of hammer h is equal to height of fall of hammer w h is your energy of total w h if i write it this will be energy of hammer blow Q u is your ultimate resistance to penetration, S is your 
एस इज योर एस इज योर पाइल पेनिट्रेशन पाइल पेनिट्रेशन अंडर वन हामर ब्लो अंडर वन हामर ब्लो क्यू यू एस रेजिस्टिंग एनर्जी ऑफ पाइल of pile basically what will happen how this energy relationship there is a pile here then by means of hammering this is my weight of the hammer and it will be fall with a certain height height of fall based on that energy of hammer blow is equal to how much resistance taken by pile into pile penetration under one hammer blow so this method gives fairly good result it gives good result particularly good result for free draining sand what are the different conditions free free draining sand and second is your hard clay hard clay where pore water pressure doesn't develop so cannot be used for submerged or uniform fine sand limitations this formula or whatever it is there ultimate bearing capacity by driving by putting a hammer it cannot be used for submerged conditions and uniform fine sands so there are different people different formula regarding this hammer has been given first one is your hilles formula first one is your by means of energy relationship first one is given by hilles h i l e y hilles formula so in this case q u is equal to n h w h by s plus c into 1 plus cr square by plus into r by 1 plus r so capital r is equal to capital r is equal to wp by w so wp is your weight of pile and c is equal to half of the total elastic compression small c is equal to half of C1 plus C2 plus C3. C1 is equal to elastic compression. Elastic compression of pile cap. C2 is equal to elastic compression of pile. of pile c3 is equal to elastic compression of soil cr is equal to your coefficient of restitution and eta h is equal to efficiency of hammer based on energy relationship hille has given a formula nh into eta h into wh divided by s plus c 
plus 1 plus C R square into R divided by 1 plus R. So, in this case, so what is the limitation? Pile rest on rock, this formula does not valid. So, different how you are going to get it, how you are going to get it as I said, how you are going to get it C1, C2 value, first one is your C1, so it is material, then range of driving stress, kg per cm square, then range of C1. Precast concrete pile, first one is your precast concrete pile. So, it will be 30 to 150 and it will be 0 0.12 to 0 0.50. Timber pile without cap, timber pile without cap, so it will be 30 to 150 and this will be a 0 0.05, 0 0.05 to 0 0.20, steel edge pile it will be 30 to 150 and it will be 0 0.04 to 0 0.16. So, elastic compression C2 of pile then C1 you can get it, what are the different materials and range of driving stress, how much you are driving, how much stress you applied. Based on that these are all your ranges of your C1. Now come to C2, so generally C2 is equal to QUL by A into E, L is equal to length of pile, A is equal to average cross sectional area of pile, E is equal to Young's modulus. So, for C3, Generally C3 is your elastic compression of soil, C3 is your elastic compression of soil, generally it has been taken as 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Then come to the pile hammer energy, then eta H, pile hammer energy, what are the different hammer type? what is your eta H, drop hammer, second one was your single acting, third one is your double acting, fourth one is your diesel. So, it will be 1.00, 0 0.75 to 0 0.85, then 0 0.85, then 1.00. Next part is your CR. These parameters why I am writing it, sometimes you cannot get it from the books. So, this I am giving in details. Suppose there is a drop hammer, what should be NH? Eta H. Then come to the value of CR, wooden pile. compact wood cushion on steel pile then CI 
हमर ऑन कंक्रीट देन हैमर ऑन स्टील पाइप सो द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस सी आर दिस इज योर मैटेरियल सी आर विल बी जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव हियर इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट थ्री टू हियर इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट फोर जीरो हियर इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फाइव दिस इज हाउ दिस इज हाउ दिस उल्ले हाज गिवेन फॉर दिस कंडीशंस नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज कॉल्ड इज योर इंजीनियरिंग न्यूज रेकॉर्डेड फॉर्मूला दैट इज योर इंजीनियरिंग न्यूज रेकॉर्ड ई एन आर फॉर्मूला इन दिस केस क्यू ए इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू एच बाई सिक्स एस प्लस सी इन दिस केस वॉट दे हैव टेकन इटा एच इज इक्वल टू वन सी आर इज इक्वल टू वन एंड फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी दे हैव टेकन सिक्स सो क्यू ए इज योर अलाउबल लोड इन के जी और किलो न्यूटन अलाउबल लोड इन के जी और किलो न्यूटन सी इज इक्वल टू दे हैव गिवेन सी इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू एच क्यू ए इज देयर देन एस यू कैन सेट फाइनल पेनिट्रेशन इन सेंटीमीटर पर ब्लो फाइनल पेनिट्रेशन इन सेंटीमीटर पर ब्लो सो सी इज योर एम्पेरिकल कॉन्स्टेंट सी इज इक्वल टू एम्पेरिकल कॉन्स्टेंट विच इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर फॉर ए ड्रॉप हमर देन विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव सेंटीमीटर फॉर सिंगल एंड डबल एक्टिंग हमर देर आर ऑल्सो केसेस फॉर ड्रॉप हमर ए फॉर ड्रॉप हैमर क्यू ए इज इक्वल टू क्यू ए इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू एच बाई सिक्स एस प्लस टू पॉइंट फाइव सिंगल एक्टिंग सिंगल एक्टिंग क्यू ए इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू एच बाई सिक्स एस प्लस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव देन डबल एक्टिंग क्यू ए इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू प्लस ए पी बाई सिक्स इंटू एस प्लस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव A is equal to area of piston. P is equal to mean effective steam pressure. Small p is equal to mean effective steam pressure kg per centimeter square. actually it has been modified by engineering news record formula enr what they have consider 
eta h they have considered 1, c r coefficient of restitution is equal to 1, factor of safety they have considered 6. So, they, they have given if you compare it with village formula, village formula this is your ultimate capacity, here it is your allowable capacity, then it will be w h divided by 6 s plus c, s is your final penetration in centimeter per blow, c j empirical coefficient constant which is equal to 2.5 centimeter for drop hammer, 0 0.25 centimeter for single and double acting hammer. Then Q A has been calculated for drop hammer, single acting and double acting all the values they have considered. So, what will happen? What are the discussions about these two formula? First one is your Hillage formula. does not give a consistent result. It gives either higher or lower values. The second one is your this formula, this dynamic formula. has to be used with more confidence, has to be used with more confidence. So, you should have vast experience so that while using this formula you should have more confidence about this, then only you can able to do it, then only you can able to do it. So, we can solve a problem of this whatever we have discussed we can solve a problem. What is the example what problem has been given? 40 by 40 centimeter reinforced concrete pile, pile is your 40 centimeter by 40 centimeter it is a square pile of RCC reinforced concrete of 20 meter long. It is driven through loose material then into dense gravel to a final set of 3 mm per blow. Using 30 kilo Newton single acting hammer with a stroke of 101.5 meter, what is the thing has been used? Single acting hammer of 30 kilo Newton, then stroke. 1.5 meter. What has been asked? It has been asked ultimate driving resistance of pile find ultimate driving resistance of pile if it is fitted with fitted with A helmet, B plastic dolly, and 50 mm packing, on the top of the pile The weight of helmet and dolly, weight of helmet is your 4 kilo Newton. 
weight of pile is equal to 74 kilo newton weight of hammer is equal to 30 kilo newton this is a typical example pile size of 40 centimeter by 40 centimeter constructed as a reinforced concrete pile and 20 meter long it has been driven into a loose material then into a dense gravel how it has been driven driven with a hammering in such a way that it is giving a penetration of 3 mm per blow every one blow it penetrate with a 3 mm single acting hammer has been used which weight is 30 kilo newton and a stroke if this is my single acting from here to here this is called one stroke it is your 1.5 meter find it out ultimate driving resistance of the pile fitted with helmet plastic dolly 50 mm packing on the top of the pile and other parameter is given weight of helmet weight of pile and weight of hammer so pile hammer efficiency other parameter is given pile hammer efficiency is equal to 0 0.60 coefficient of restitution cr is equal to 0 0.40 c bar is equal to c1 plus c2 plus c3 is equal to 19.6 mm c is equal to c bar by 2 let us solve it first one is your Hille formula which is your QU is equal to eta H WH by S plus C into 1 plus CR whole square into R by 1 plus R. So, eta H is equal to 0 0.8 W is equal to 30 kilo Newton H is equal to 1.5 meter r is equal to wp by w which is equal to 74 plus 4 by 30 which is equal to 2.6 cr is given 0.4 s is equal to 0 0.30 centimeter then from this using this formula q u comes out to be 1105 kN then comes to your engineering news formula in this case q u is equal to 6 q a which is equal to w h by s plus 0 0.25 and which comes out to be let me calculate it into 30 into 100 into 150 into 10 to power minus 3 by 0 0.3 plus 0 0.25 which is equal to 818 kilo Newton. Look at the two. In Hillis formula ultimate capacity is your 1105 kilo Newton. In engineering news formula ultimate capacity is your 818 kilo Newton definitely Hillis formula is giving higher side this is what I have said this is based on drive pile driving formula a pile is there hammer is there at the top you are hammering it then what are how you are going to find it out if this this data are available with you as I solved in the example these are available then how to find it out pile capacity the next one I will start next class that is your pile load test. Or it is called field pile load test. This is what I am going to cover in the next class. Thank you.